All right, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a pair of wire strippers from Klein Tools. Now, these are an automatic um, pair of wire strippers, um, which are a little bit different than your more traditional pair of wire strippers. Um, the model number on this is 11063W, and Klein has given it the catapult name. Uh, now, these are a little bit different compared to the other pair of wire automatic wire strippers that Klein has to offer. Now these ones, you really don't have to know the size of wire and you can strip multiple conductors at the same time. Whereas the Catapult is mainly, um, it's gonna have specific wire sizes. Now I believe the tool advertises it can go from eight to 22 gauge uh, wire is what it will strip and that is solid and stranded. Um, so that there is that uh, to start off the review we'll take a look here at the handles so just like the other pair of automatic wire strippers from klein these do feature the black and blue style of handles um, which is fairly nice you do have a pretty large spring right there you have your catapult name and your model number right there and you also have the klein tools name on the um this side of the tool now coming up to the business end of the tool you do have a copper cutter right there uh, you just insert the wire from the back and cut it to whatever length you need to or if you need to cut like um maybe you strip the wire and you ended up nicking some of the wires or breaking some of the wires off you can just insert it and just chop off what uh, you need to have cut off um, now we'll come to the um, stripping die on the tool uh, you can see it goes on the top from 16 to 20 and then on the bottom 14 to 18 uh, and it does appear that you can um, i'm not 100 percent sure if klein sells replacement jaws for these uh, if, if the jaws wear out over time especially if you're using the tool a lot but it does appear you can uh, unscrew the jaws right there which is a pretty cool feature and then it also has one a couple here on this side i'm not 100 like i said i'm not 100 percent sure uh, if you can get replacement jaws but it does appear that they are uh, removable um, so if you're unfamiliar with automatic wire strippers, uh, basically you insert the wire into here uh, and the jaws will close down on it and then it holds it in place and then it splits the wire apart, um, stripping the wire, uh, stripping the insulation off of the wire. So basically instead of you having to uh, do it yourself, you just have the automatic tool do it for you. Uh, so that is pretty much it for the front side of the tool. You do flip the tool around, you do have some warnings right here. It's only meant for cutting copper, and then it's the max I believe it can cut is 10 AWG uh, wire. So I'm not sure if you cut eight solid with it, you probably could, um, but you may risk uh, damaging the cutters on the inside. Uh, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to just cut um, eight with it if it can cut 10, 10 gauge wire. Um, so that is the um, from Klein Tools. Uh, it's pretty much into detail on this, you know, kind of the functionality of the tool. I'll kind of show you how it works here um so i'll just bring in some wire and we'll go ahead and show you how it works so this is some 18 stranded wire so all you have to do is line up the correct size hole and it's that easy to strip the wire uh and it does a does do a fairly nice uh strip right there there is no damage to the um copper there on the inside um let's say you aren't happy with that or maybe you need just a little bit longer of a length of wire uh to do whatever you're doing and you want to cut it off and start over all you have to do is insert it right there and you are able to cut it and start over uh, so that was with the 18 gauge stranded wire i'll go ahead and bring in some 12 gauge uh stranded wire and uh, give you a little bit better of a demonstration so we'll go ahead and line that up with the correct size hole uh, and you are able to strip it fairly easy uh, which is nice and again no damage done to the wire it's a pretty clean strip overall um, whereas you know sometimes with the um, regular pair of wire strippers you kind of can tear some of the insulation if you don't press down hard enough um, to cut that insulation all the way around uh, so that is one nice thing about these automatic wire strippers uh, and there again super easy to cut through uh, that conductor right there. Now we'll bring in some solid wire right here. This is some 14 gauge solid wire. So I believe it's going to be this last die here on the back. Uh, I just kinda kinda have to line it up um, in that die, which can be a little bit tricky since it is on the end of the tool. Um, but then there again, has no issue stripping that insulation off of the wire. So I'll set that guy off to the side and we'll bring in our last little test wire right here, some 12 gauge. Uh, solid wire so we'll go ahead and line that guy up right there and we are able to strip that without any issue or nicking to the wire um so overall these are definitely a nice pair 
of wire strippers from Klein Tools. Now they aren't made here in the States. I believe they are made in Taiwan, just like the older pair uh, that I have previously reviewed on the channel. Um, but some people do like the automatic wire strippers and a lot of guys just like the standard pair of wire strippers. Uh, but I have seen quite a few electricians on some of the jobs that I've been working on. Uh, I've seen them carry these guys around. Um, they're not as compact or, you know, not as compact or versatile as a pair of uh, just standard pair of wire strippers. You're not going to have any crimp around here. You do have a cutter and the stripper, which is nice. Um, but if you like to have, you know, one tool that can do multiple things, this is probably not for you. Or if you don't really have a lot of room in your tool bag, um, this is going to be kind of a big, a big and bulky tool. Uh, it's probably going to take up the majority of a... Uh, depending on your tool bag, probably take up a pouch uh, all by itself. And it kind of is awkward if you want to store it in a tool bag, you know, with the top that flares out due to the spring. Um, but if you can get past that, then I can easily recommend this tool for you, especially if you just have to strip a lot of the wires, you know, in one day and you want to just make it easy and just go through it quick and not have to line it up, cut it and strip it and do all that. You just want to get a nice clean strip every time and, try to get the same length every time. Um, these probably are going to uh, benefit you. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, but that's all I have for this video.